What is up, my friends? How are we? You are very welcome along to Tuesday evening's Anfield Agenda Transfer News Roundup. The good news, it looks like there is finally some light at the end of that transfer tunnel. And we're going to try to figure out who is this mystery defensive midfielder or number six that Liverpool are looking at. Where did the story come from and when can we expect him to be a Liverpool player? We're also going to be talking about interest in a couple of our players. We're going to be speaking about the goalkeeper from Valencia who's interested in the move to Liverpool and lots more over the course of the next few minutes. As always, we'd love to know your thoughts, so do let us know in the comments section. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The good news again is we will be back live tonight at 8.45 with the Late Night Agenda. Over 3,000 people joined us live in the chat last night. Hope to see you guys come back tonight because it looks like we're finally getting our backsides into gear. I'm going to get straight into it now because I do have a lot to go through. So we're going to speak about David Ornstein who said that Liverpool have identified a target for this midfield position. Somebody who currently plies their trade outside of the Premier League. And that's got us all wondering who on earth he's talking about. So what we've done is put together a list of potential players that we think could be in the fold to join. And we want to know in the comment section which, if any of these guys, you think would be a good fit. Let's start off with Zubamendi of Real Sociedad. We know, of course, like all players in Spain, he has a release clause. He's 25 years of age. He's somebody that many of you guys, including my friend George, have asked many times, is there interest from Liverpool in the player? Truly, on this one, it's been a difficult one to figure out if he's the one. So I don't know on Zubamendi, but... We do know, like I mentioned a moment ago, the release clause is there. If Liverpool want to trigger it, then it's up to the player to make a decision. So keep an eye on Zuba Mendy. But the name at the forefront of my conversation for the entire summer has, of course, been Ederson of Atalanta. I believe a fee of about £40 million, maybe a little bit more with some add-ons, would be enough to bring in the 25-year-old Brazilian international. His teammate, Toyn Coop Miners, has also been linked. But honestly... I feel like Ederson is more likely than him. He'd be my choice in a heartbeat. I've said it all summer. He does tick the boxes of played enough games, right age profile, outside the Premier League. So maybe it is Ederson. Again, if Ederson's your choice, let me know below. Bit of a wild card this one. This one more comes from our Discord group. But Yusuf Fofana of Monaco. Obviously, we've... We've gone to Monaco before for a defensive midfielder and it worked out quite well. So who's to say that Yusuf Fofana isn't that guy? 25 years of age, probably on the lower end for me of the players I'd like to see brought in. I wouldn't be overly optimistic if Fofana is the choice from Liverpool, but he is somebody we've got to mention. Another one is Alan Varela of Porto, somebody who has been described as potentially the next Javier Mascherano. He's just 23 years of age. And again, a reasonable fee I would expect would be somewhere in and around 50 to 60 million pound for Alan Varela. He's somebody we've been linked to going back ooh, at least a year. A lot of you guys will have watched a lot more of the Portuguese division than I have. But when I have watched this guy, he has looked decent. Highlights on YouTube make everybody look like world beaters. So Alan Varela could be another name on this list. Manuel Ugarte's name has been thrown around. Now, honestly... I don't think it's going to be him. I don't think it should be him. I think that he still has a fondness for the move to United. United so far refusing to pay Paris Saint-Germain 60 million euro fee. So let's see what happens there. He's 23 years of age, same as Alan Varela, same as other people that we're going to talk about on this list. Weirdly, everybody on this list is either 23 or 25 years of age. So Manuel Ugarte for me would fall along with Yusuf Fafana at the lower end of probability on this list. One more name is Martin Frendrup, somebody who we've spoken about before, somebody plying their trade over in Serie A, who was unsellable, but everybody has a price. He's also 23 years of age. I believe he's a Danish international and somebody whose name has been mentioned as one to potentially keep an eye on. Now, the last name that I have for you guys as a potential number six is Morten Hjulmund. Remember when we were linked with a move to bring in uh, a coach that, well, basically just arrived over in the UK for negotiations and Ruben Amorum with West Ham and that kind of, well, made Liverpool come out and say, N -n -n, isn't going to be him, we're very much going for Arne Slot. Well, Morten Hulman is somebody who we have kept an eye on, another midfielder who could fit the bill, 25 years of age, 
wouldn't be the most expensive signing in the world, but could be an astute piece of business. So for me, they're the probable six or seven that I think it could be. But of course, we want to know what you think. Let us know in the comment section and we'll work through this on tonight's live stream. Now, lots of interest in Sepp Vandenberg and PSV are not giving up their interest. According to a Dutch publication, they want to continue to push through a deal to sign Sepp Vandenberg from Liverpool. But as we all know, talk is cheap. It's time to put the money down on the table. Everyone knows Liverpool want about 20 million euro or about 17 million pounds to sign him. So if anybody pays the money, then Sepp Vandenberg will most likely be on his way. Now we still have to talk about centre-backs, right? We still have to talk about potential players coming in there. At this moment in time, I'm still trying to put together a list of probable centre-backs that may take us a little bit longer. We'll probably talk about that on tonight's stream. But another situation I wanted to draw your attention to is the goalkeeper from Georgia. This is the part where I do my best to pronounce his name. Georgi Mamoradashvili is keen on a move to Liverpool and that is coming straight out of a Valencia publication. He is the goalkeeper of Valencia, obviously played in the Euros with Georgia and did very, very well. This piece here said that he is really interested in joining the Reds. It would be a signing that Liverpool would make and then loan him out. It's basically future-proofing ourselves against any potential loss of Alisson Becker. It's believed that somewhere between 30 and 35 million euro would probably be the fee, so about 25, 27 million pound. And of course, Liverpool would then loan him out whilst we see what Alisson Becker's future holds. Now, we're not talking about Alisson Becker departing this summer, but it would be a season or two probably before this goalkeeper is ready to come into the Liverpool team. So I'm all for or that as long as it isn't at the expense of some other signings for Liverpool now we ruled out last night and we're going to say it again uh, Julio Soler the young left back who had been linked to Liverpool from Argentina he's somebody that I don't think we're going to move for Anthony Gordon you know what I'm going to say on this one there's still legs to go and keep an eye on the Anthony Gordon situation but one Liverpool player who has gone out on loan for the season is Luke Chambers he has gone and joined Wigan, as was reported during the pre-season tour. So he's going to be there for the entirety of the 24-25 season. Best of luck to him in that one. If you have any other targets that you think we should be looking at or want to discuss on tonight's Late Night Agenda, please do let me know in the comment section and I will do my very best to go through them. Here's one interesting thing, though, to keep an eye on. Oak Tree Capital and shout out Moby Hake on this who posted this on his ex account. Oak Tree Capital took over Inter Milan previously because of the debt owed by their owner, 395 million euro in debt and they have a repayment deadline. They're deep in debt but will probably have to sell a player. Now, left footed centre back Bastoni, around 60 million euro. What are you saying? I know he's somebody that a lot of you guys are very fond of. Good show from Moby on this one. I mean, I wouldn't say no. Left-footed, exactly what we need. Left side of the defence. Let me know in the comment section what you think on this one. And then, as I said, tonight we will be back at A45 to go through it all in far more detail. Looking forward to reading through your comments and seeing your suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, myself and Jack are going to be recording a brand new podcast episode this evening as well. That's going to be dropping tomorrow, so do make sure you check out and feel agenda on whatever your podcast uh, platform of choice is. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday evening, and I'll catch up with you soon. Much love, my friends. Bye-bye.